ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hey, this is James Spann. You clicked onto our Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the fourth day of March. Storms on the way out. Colder air on the way in. And later in the week, fun and games. Let's get right to some Skycam shots early this morning at the somewhat insane hour of 5 o'clock. We'll begin with a look at our uh, Skycam in downtown Birmingham. That's the view from the top of the Daniel Building. Looking off to the north, still uh, some lingering light rain, but uh, pretty much the... Uh, Storms are out of here. Raining nicely in Gadsden this morning. A good rain. You know, many spots getting between one and two inches of rain this morning. Just what the doctor ordered. And from Tuscaloosa, looking over toward uh, Interstate 359, where it runs into Lurleen B. Wallace Boulevard. Had a little damage up in North Tuscaloosa County uh, from down trees and lines. Also some damage in Utah. But uh, generally speaking, Alabama came through pretty much unscathed early this morning with those uh, storms. Speaking of them, there's the water vapor satellite imagery this morning. Big old cold core upper low spinning away over Arkansas where snow is falling this morning. And out ahead of that in the warm sector, you can see what's going on with those big uh, thunderstorms there. And what a gradient. Temperatures in Alabama this morning are in the 60s, but you cross the uh, line into Mississippi, you get quickly into the 40s and get in the 30s and 20s back in Arkansas. So uh, you can clearly see the uh, contrast there, and the cold air is going to win the battle today. We're going to fall from the 60s this morning, and we'll wind up in the 40s later today as the cold air moves in. For the rest of today, there's the uh, severe weather risk that covers uh, the far eastern part of Alabama, and really there, the severe weather risk is over. It'll be the Atlantic seaboard states from Florida north to uh, Maryland, to Delaware, southern New Jersey. There's the convective band this morning and a little sliver of a tornado watch that's left. That uh, technically is up until 9 o'clock our time. But again, uh, for Alabama, the severe weather threat has ended. Here's the QPF map. Now, this counts the rain we had last night, so uh, we'll have that. And also another end-of-the-week system to deal with, and that one's going to be interesting, as you'll see in a moment. And uh, there's a look at our snow outlook for the rest of the day. The big snow moving out of Arkansas, moving up into uh, southeastern Missouri. Heaviest snow should be a little south of St. Louis. Then up into uh, Indianapolis and Detroit and parts of New England and some pretty nasty icing. That's the uh, ice outlook today. And uh, that's problematic for interior sections of New England. Okay, this is the uh, 06E run valid at noon today at 500 millibars. And uh, there's the cold core coming through Tennessee at the surface. There'll be some wraparound clouds much of the day today, a blustery day, windy and cold. Again, we'll drop into the 40s. And there might be a few wraparound uh, snow showers or snow flurries up in the uh, Tennessee Valley. I'd say it's unlikely as far south as Birmingham. Tomorrow, a quiet day. The big storm is up over the northeast. We are, uh, after a cold start, we'll be in the upper 50s tomorrow. But here comes uh, system number two on Thursday. Big trough off to the west, a southwest flow aloft at the surface. A, a cold front begins to come through. And then we'll go to Friday, and the trough deepens off to the west. And what's going to happen here is that a wave is expected to form on that front uh, down to the south. And the GFS at midday Friday has the surface low near Savannah, Georgia, with uh, rain showers over Alabama and snow falling over north Mississippi and western Tennessee. How about that? <coughs> now, let's look at the uh, NAM. This is valid for the exact same time. This is valid to Friday at midday, and the NAM is a little colder. It's got the uh, zero degree line at 850. That's about 5,000 feet off the ground, which can be a rain snow indicator. Into Alabama. Look at that. A 1,012 millibar low in the northeastern Gulf and a chance of snow for areas northwest of Birmingham. That would be places like Huntsville and Haleyville and Hamilton and Fayette and Vernon. Uh, the NAM a little colder. The GFS a little warmer. Who you going to believe? Well, Again, I think the 12Z run will help us sort all this out. We'll get some better agreement. It's very early in the game, but certainly we're going to mention uh, a chance of rain on Friday. 
Now let's go back to the. This is as far out as the NAM goes here. This is uh, 84 hours out. So let's go back to the NAM, or the GFS, and this is valid at six o'clock Friday evening. The surface low moves up to. Uh, Eastern North Carolina, and the cold air pulls farther southward, and that would suggest a chance of some wraparound snow, light snow on the back side of that. And then at midnight Friday night, the cold air deepens. The surface low moves up to near Washington, D.C. That'll be a whopper of a snowstorm there for some of our friends up in the northeast, if this is correct. And boy, that looks cold. And then we'll go to Saturday, and the uh, storm is up there in Maine. And that's going to be a very cold and blustery day, and leave even the chance of a few lingering snow flurries, if that's right. Uh, we might have a hard time getting out of the 30s, if this is right, and the model numbers are certainly coming down. So cold and blustery is the word for Friday night and Saturday, and we wonder if there might be a changeover to some snow on the backside of that thing Friday afternoon or Friday night. So, again, you can see why we call it fun and games. And there's the upper chart for Saturday as the big trough swings on through here. And then uh, Sunday... After a cold morning, we'll start to warm up. We'll moderate with a high back in the upper 50s, maybe touching 60. And then Monday of next week, a little Vortmax swings uh, north of here, and that uh, might bring a little light rain, but it doesn't look like a big deal. And at this point, Tuesday looks dry. And quickly, at the end of the cycle on the 17th of March, out there in St. Patrick's Day, southwest flow, trough to the west, looks kind of stormy. Oh, March in Alabama. you got to love it. That's it for the uh, Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the uh, blog, alabamawx.com, if you're watching this on YouTube or iTunes. Our next video here by 3.30 today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.